bare face, camera fixed, and we are ready to do the ordinary brand review today. If you want just one specific product in particular as a review, please tell me down below as well and make sure to like the video and to consider subscribing if you want to see five videos a week, Monday through Friday, all about beauty. If you want to know also how I incorporate it into my morning and night routine, make sure to tell me down below if you want to see that as well because it's always nice to see. The Ordinary, I've known them for quite some time now and they are now in Sephora, which... They are not only on the Sephora online, but they carry also some products in the stores. So I'm going to tell you all of the products that I bought and that I tried, and then we'll continue on with the brand review. I'm going to start with products that I already tried before, but since I didn't know that they were best-selling, um, I bought the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. So this is really good for if you want to regulate sebum, you know, dark spots on the skin and everything. And this one retails for $5.90 Canadian. This is really an inexpensive line. All the products are mostly under $10 US. But since now I'm kind of like talking Canadian, um, it's going to be more expensive. The second product that I use day and night, it is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This is really good. Uh, it goes on the skin very well. It has kind of like a slimy texture kind of which is weird. The first time that I applied it, I never tried this before, by the way. So when I bought it and I tried it, I was like, wow, this is so weird. It's like a, it's super, super slimy. Then it goes onto your skin and your skin just sucks everything in and it's very hydrating of course i recommend you putting something hydrating or a mist on top of it so then the moisture from the air can get into your skin as what that's what hyaluronic acid does so one product that i didn't buy is the caffeine solution from the or under eye because as you can see i do not have puffiness under my eyes and i just have a little bit of darkness as you can see like it's there and it just doesn't want to go away. Um, but what I bought and what I researched online is Buffet. So this one is a little bit more expensive, but there are a lot of things in there. So it is a multi-technology peptide serum. And I read online, you can put it under the eye. So that's what I do. I put this, like I bring it higher. I'm not saying like all the, the way to the lash line. Never bring any product all the way there because it might be very irritating to your skin. Uh, but this, I bring it under and it really helps. And I also pair it with the hyaluronic acid serum so I bring it kind of high these two under my eyes and that acts as like kind of like a serum from under the eye because I do use eye cream <laughs> I do but it's just this really helps under especially that my skin is so dry and now everything winter related it's just even more dry and it's gonna come like in a bad way so, so the buffet is $14.80 but this I really 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 recommend this is prevention because it's for like fine lines texture everything so I don't really have a lot of fine lines but since this Miss Rona decided to close us down we all have a lot of stress and we just end up with a bunch of like lines under our eyes and we're all dried up and everything and Anyway, a lot of stress. So this is really good uh, for that. I really recommend it. Of course, you're not going to see results like right away. Like it's not instant like this. You're going to have to use it for a long time before you can see anything. But overall, I can see my skin improve. So we're going to go into the acids. Right. So <laughs> there was two acids that they were selling into the Sephora store. Um, and I bought two of them because I was like, I need to try some AHAs. Because before I was using the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary, but they do not carry, carry it anymore. For some reason, they are reformulating the product. Um, so I don't know when it's going to be back in stock. But if, if, like you see, it's in a little bottle like this. If you see the hyaluronic acid, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to tell you guys when it comes out because this saved my skin so much. But since it's not there anymore, well... That's what it does. I have two different EHAs, like I said. So there is the lactic acid 10% plus HA. And this one is a very, it's a high strength lactic acid, superficial peeling formulation, which you leave on the skin at night. Do not put this during the day because it's... It's gonna, it's gonna irritate your skin. But this is a very, very light acid, which 
to me, I can use it every day and it's not going to irritate my skin, even though I have sensitive skin. Uh, so this is a really good one for me. It does help smooth out a bunch of things and you have to put sunscreen as well. But this one, really good if you want to start small with an AHA. This is very uh, a good one. Lactic acid, $6.70, which is really cheap and it, it does last long. I used it for a month already. A month and it's like just like that the only one that is going down quickly because i use it day and night is the hyaluronic acid like this is low 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 and if you want to go into the stronger ahas which i tried this one so this is the glycolic acid seven percent and do not mix like acids and stuff like this you have to be careful with the ordinary products for example like the acids try to not mix them with for example niacinamide or products that have a lower ph because it's just going to irritate your skin so much that you're going to have redness you're going to have dry patches and you want to avoid this especially if you have active acne like mine right now uh you do have to be careful what you put on your face glycolic acid toning solution is a ph of 3.6 which is a uh, crazy low uh, but this okay so i do not put a lot i made a mistake while using it well i was putting too much on it and the next day especially around my nose where sometimes you know you have like a, some things in your nose you just blow it and then you know these are sensitive areas which you want to avoid and if you put this next to it the next day it's going to be super red itchy irritating because this is very strong acid and you have to be careful while using this like but it works it works it does diminish everything and this is really a toning for tone everything and, and then the glycolic acid of course is eight dollars and seventy cents which for a month there is a lot left still like this is gonna last me forever and you don't need a lot like i told you another product because i said six right and this one is my favorite especially when i'm dry during the winter months or whenever because i'm always dry <laughs> even though i have acne okay this is a co common misconception is that people with acne do not have dry skin it is totally a myth i have dry skin i feel dry at the moment i feel really dry and i put a lot of things on my face so. this is the or 100 organic rose hip seed oil and this is my favorite oil of all time this is really good this is a dry oil um there's a uv protection packaging so it doesn't mess up with the formulation i guess anyways this oil dry oil means it really goes well into your skin and it doesn't leave like that greasy kind of feeling so as you can see like my skin right now at the moment i have it on and it doesn't look like super oily it just gives me a nice glow from within even when i touch you know and i bring it all the way under my eyes as well and it doesn't give me milia it doesn't give me like uh, it doesn't clog my pores or anything and milia is like these little white pimples that you get around your eyes because there's like it's clogged under the skin which it doesn't do that but uh, i do have milia a bit i have to take care of it one day <laughs> not now because dermatologist is gonna cost a lot of money but it's okay this one is nine dollars and ninety cents it is more expensive but you do not need a lot which i've been using it like day and night day and night and that's why there is uh a, a bunch not left but for a month i mean for four weeks really good overall i've got a great experience with these products which is what i've been sharing with you guys so i highly recommend these products just because of how inexpensive it is and of course you have to be patient with these products and you have to pair them with a good cleanser you have to pair them with a good moisturizer you know you can have a toner for the day something that will regulate ph on your face you know it's a very like complicated thing to just pair things you can't just add one thing and it's just going to change everything it has to be with your skin type we all struggle with that so my skin improved but <laughs> okay you're gonna tell me like your skin is still so bad but it really definitely improved especially in these area tone was better and then i decided uh i wanted that day to eat some chocolate and it was the worst decision because one month of hard work just went with five minutes of me, eat me eating chocolate so i'm so so <laughs> anyway that's what happens when uh, you um, give in to temptation so i have some acne here and it can be hormonal you know when you're on period uh when you eat sugar everything this is what's gonna happen so you can't really see that and say okay it doesn't work 
the progress from like where you started to what you see and my skin definitely improved on texture on everything it just feels better it looks better even though I still have a lot of progress to do. Oh, there's one question probably that a lot of people are asking themselves is why it is so inexpensive. And that's what I did some research a long time ago when I first discovered the brand. And the reason why it is so inexpensive is they don't really focus on packaging. They don't really focus on marketing. They solely focus on the products themselves, like the ingredients. And they only choose ingredients that really work uh, in the product. So there's nothing like fray, there's no fragrance, there's no whatever there's no fillers into these products it's only what you need and it's very basic packaging as well minimalistic i'm gonna say not basic because i do love the packaging i think it's very cute and like i said the marketing at first they weren't doing any marketing it was word like mouth to ear i don't know how to say it in english but uh it's very like people are gonna talk about it because it's good products and that's what they counted on and it just it just worked <laughs> so these products specifically are made in canada and that is one thing that is good so um it is made in canada bottled in canada but it is a parent company of this which this is the big company and they have umbrella companies which means this CM is the big thing and then they have other companies under so the ordinary is part of that and i'm like canadian me <laughs> i love supporting canadian brands so but if you want to go check out this cm it's on the website so it is this cm.com i think it's going to be listed down below if you want to go check it out and also you know you can definitely send them an email that's what was written on the website if you want if you have skin concerns or you have any questions about if you want to build your own skincare you can definitely email them they're gonna help you choose what you need for your skin specifically which is awesome i didn't really email them so i don't know if they email fast or anything like this but i just know that they have this thing where you can just email them i want to point out that uh their products is vegan cruelty free not tested on animals free parabens sulfates there's no mineral oil but you have to check because some products might not be vegan some of them might not be so you have to check to make sure you can go on their websites again uh you i would recommend you to buy it on sephora because i think it's cheaper and then you know you get the points and everything if you have but if you don't have sephora this cm is a really great way to do it uh and this cm is going to have way more information on the products than if you go to sephora so i highly recommend you go check the cm for all the information you need everything instead of sephora because sephora does not have a lot of information and it just uh i don't know why they don't have the same amount of information they should have like it's just something but overall is it the ordinary a good brand and sh like do i recommend you spending your money on the ordinary i highly recommend them like this is one of the brands that i will always be so like oh my god like this is just this brand just blows me away every single time that i use it day night during the day whatever it's just it's such a good brand of course sometimes you're gonna be like okay some products might not work there's always hit and misses with the ordinary but i never had any misses yet like everything that i tried of course these are best selling okay maybe i should try something that is not best selling <laughs> and to, to to go on there but most of their products like they have over 30 products i think and a lot of them are really really loved by everyone and I will definitely try more, of course. But I have these to try first. To try and continue using. So, after a month, amazing. The Ordinary Brand Review is this. I highly recommend. It's really a good brand. Very awesome. You can buy it from a lot of places. I don't know if they sell it at Ulta or anything. But you should definitely check it out. Because we don't have Ulta at, uh, in Canada. But uh, that is what it is. Again, if you want to have a review on one specific product, please tell me down below. I will definitely do it. Um, and if you like the video, make sure to like the video and to comment anything down below again. And consider subscribing if you're not already to my YouTube channel if you want to see five videos a week, Monday through Friday. So I really, really love you, beauties. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, beauties. Okay, so don't mind my fingers and my lips. I just I tried to put a balm, a lip balm on my lips because I ate frozen blueberries. I don't know why it's really cold outside, but don't judge me. <laughs> and then I'm just stained everywhere from these frozen blueberries. But they were really, really good though.